Hello. In this lecture, we'll learn how to duplicate objects in Blender. There are two ways to duplicate objects in Blender. Duplicate, and Duplicate Linked. Let's press Shift A and add a UV sphere. Press Shift D and duplicate the sphere. Move the mouse wherever you want and left click to confirm. We can also move the sphere specific axis. To do this, press Shift D, then press the axis key, and left click. We can also duplicate the objects by right click. The new sphere is the same with original sphere. They share the same data, but their data are not linked each other. Let's select the original sphere and go to edit mode. As you can see, the original sphere is being edited. The duplicated sphere remains unchanged. Let's press tab key and go back to object mode. Let's press Alt D and duplicate link this time. They are still independent from each other in object mode. We can move around, scale and rotate them separately. Let's go to edit mode and try to edit duplicated sphere. As you can see, both sphere are being selected and edited together. Because, their data are linked each other. Let's go back to object mode. We can still add modifiers to objects independently. But, when we make shade smooth one of them, the other one also will have smooth shading. Because, smooth and flat shading data are related to mesh data. Let's go to object data properties. As you can see, two objects use the sphere data. Let's press Alt D and duplicate the sphere one more time. As you can see, three objects are using the sphere data now. When we go to edit mode, and try to edit one of them, the others will be edited at the same time. Alright, how to unlink one of them, and edit it independently? To do that, let's go back to object mode. Select the sphere you want to edit independently. Go to object data properties menu, and click on the number button. Thus, the sphere will be independent of the others. Go back to edit mode and try to edit this sphere. There we go. We can edit this sphere separately anymore. Let's delete the other sphere so that only one sphere remains. Let's press Shift D and duplicate four times this sphere. As you can see, they are being edited separately. So, how to edit together these spheres? To do this, let's select all spheres, and press Ctrl L. Choose the the object data. So, the active selection data will link to others. Let's go back to edit mode and try to edit one of them. There we go. All of these spheres don't have to look like sphere. Let me show you what I mean. Let's select duplicated spheres and delete them. Let's add a cube object and duplicate it three times. Let's select all cubes and select the sphere the last. So, the sphere will be active selection. Let's copy the sphere data to the cubes. Press Ctrl L and choose object data. There we go. In this case, the cube meshes will become sphere mesh. Thanks for watching. See you in the next tutorial.